Hello everyone, my name is Robo and I'm back with another video. So today we're not uh, providing your daily dose of RNG. I'm going to be re uh, reviewing the rest of Free Tempest's suggested uh, figures list. Well, possibly. There looks to be a lot here to still look at, so we may only do half of it. But the first half episode, I did all the ones up here. Now we're on to LR figures. So uh, we'll have a little read up on this bit first, and then we'll go into the figures. So... LR figures, these figures are designed to be a tier above UR and extremely difficult to obtain. Okay, makes sense. They are unusable in ranked. Okay, that's fair enough. A player match setting is added to limit the number of LR figures that can be used on team. Okay. Oh, shout out to Death Reaper 66 who helped with this and came up with a lot of these figures with him. To obtain an LR figure, various criteria must be met to unlock them appearing in the special capsule machine as well as numerous challenges. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That's the same as uh, other games, you know. You complete certain things, you unlock new characters and skins. So I can uh, I can get behind that. These challenges would include things like, but are not limited to, being Master Level 99. Okay, and easy enough. Possess both versions of a UR equivalent at Level 99 with max combinations. Ugh. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that. Simply because... I'm, I'm going to look at this as a person who is f free to play, who doesn't have the time to grind out loads and loads of TP medals. And from that sense, I don't think that's a very fair um, challenge. In a sense that if they are like that, there's very it's very doubtful that they will have that plus at uh, sort of plus 10. Also, because it's both versions, so yeah, I don't know about that. Win five ranked matches in a row, fair enough. If the match was not complete, the counter resets. So, yeah, agree with that. Matches must be won against five different opponents. Okay, okay. If the same opponent is fought while earning these five unique victories, the counter remains at the same number. Okay. If the player loses the match, the counter resets. That seems a bit harsh. Bear in mind... There's not a huge player base for this anymore, especially when you're going into ranked. And when you do, you tend to run into people who uh, mod. By the way, I'm looking at this as the game in its current set as well. In an optimized version of the game, this is fine. That's fine. I don't mind that in an optimized version of the game. If I, if people like me, Free Tempest, etc., were fixing this game and we had it in the state that it could be in, Okay, that sounds fine, but in its current state, I think that bit's a little harsh. Earn over 5,000 FP. Um, that's fair enough. That's not difficult to do, so you can do that. Complete the figure collection to 70% or more. Complete the item collection to 100%. This is the same as my argument for this. Just because, I mean, items do cost TP medals in its current state. And as obviously do uh, figures. You don't have the resources to do that in general. Um, so, again, looking at it from the current state of the game, I can't agree with these two. But in an optimized version of the game, yes, I can. Where if you can get items from battles, if you can get all of them from battles and can farm them, yes, okay, that's fine. But because you have to buy them at the minute, nah. Nah, that's a bit harsh. Possess 99 of all chips. That's easy enough. You can farm all of these pretty damn easily. So, okay. Right, the first one. A future Gohan EX Limit Break, which is the first LR. Pose some kick, I don't know. All right. Uh, I'm into it. Uh, <laughs> Super Attack Senko Key Blast. And the one-handed Kamehameha is the ultimate. Now, Free Tempest did confirm these are all up to level 99, but I'm assuming that is not at plus 10. So let's look at the uh, the posing skill, and then we'll look at the stats and see what we think. So place on a trick square for 350 tools, stats, and 10% damage taken by attacked opponents repeatable. Okay, that's a nice little uh, a nice little start. Kind of Vegito-esque. Sort of basically the same, just that making it uh, repeatable. Gain 1.5... To all stats when Android is on the field. Stacks during that turn only. Okay, I've got no problem with uh, specific posing skill uh, abilities like that. 
When an ultimate attack is ready, gain 30% ultimate attack damage once only. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get I get you. I'm just gonna... Yeah, okay. That's left and that's middle. I was just checking earlier to see. Because I was just like, hang on, are you gonna give him that and not let him do it in the middle? But no. it's uh, That's left. Front left, front middle. Right, so his stats... Interesting, interesting, interesting. So this one would work really well for an 01 skill user. He's got a decent speed. He's getting 350 to stats every turn. Problem is, how how many boosts can you get? I suppose the big problem with anything that relies on ultimate attacks... I mean, this doesn't, but a big part of his passive is gaining more damage on ultimate attacks. Everybody runs uh, ultimate gauge down skill, so it's hard to get your ultimate sometimes, unless you throw a bunch of uh, UTG up skills on. This one I like as well. Uh, good health. That's over 10k health with uh, 10 dupes, so that's very nice. Plus he's getting 350 to each of these stats. Arguably the better version. Just because you can throw him down and there's a good chance he's going to get several of his boosts. Like I say, I like this. Um, I like the idea of figures that are in a sense, broken, but broken fairly. So, in this sense, he is kind of broken in that sense, but only if you're against an android. He's very specific for who he's good up against. I like that. That's something I'd like to see on more figures. So, okay, it looks pretty interesting. Looks interesting. So, uh, that's your first LR. Oh, another future Gohan. Oh, is this... Okay, yeah, I'm seeing now. This is the base. This is the one that you go into, etc, etc. So this is the LR, this is the UR. Okay, I get you. I get you now. So that's 500 dual stats instead. Place on turn 3 to gain a permanent 1500 to all stats when using an ultimate attack. Also receive the opportunity to counter attack. When an ally is about to receive a fatal blow, take the damage instead. Repeatable. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, good stats there. Very good stats. Um, I suppose the thing to uh, take into consideration is these are LR stats. So they're obviously going to be a lot higher than URs. Uh, I'm just doing a bit of quick math to uh, calculate that. So that would be... So that's kind of redundant. The defense boost is kind of redundant. I say that because he gets 500 to all stats, repeatable, and he gets that on turn 3. By turn 3, he's had 2 boosts, so he's up to 3,800. So that actually pushes his defense up to 5,300, which is 300 over the cap, where it makes a difference. So kind of redundant. Maybe just 1,000 to each stat. Also receive the opportunity to counter-attack. That's pretty ridiculous. I know these LR figures are going to be ridiculous, but... <sighs> I mean, that's a one-shot. That's a dead... That's a one-shot. Because imagine you get this turn three, let's say. So he's had... On that one... I'd put all ten dupes into probably his uh, attack... So, he's had two lots of that onto his speed, so he's 68, with that on top, 8-3, 01 skills, uh, 700 takes him to 9. Whew, that's a lot of speed. Uh, <laughs> so, you probably 01 skill going first with your ultimate, you counter attack, and you've killed him in one shot. If you boot, you'd have to buff master HP, I think to make these LRs fair. Otherwise, I know you can restrict them by your rules, but I think uh, I think we need to have sort of maybe 40,000 master HP. Otherwise, it's just going to be one-shots, and that's kind of why I don't like O1 skills. But he's very good, very interesting. Uh, I like him. All right, Broly, full power Super Saiyan. Gigantic Roar, Gigantic Rage, Gigantic Roar. Okay. Uh <laughs> Inescapable Horror. I like that. Place on the troop squared again. 1,000 attack and 350 defense. Repeatable. Okay. Plus 15% to damage dealt and minus 15% to damage taken. 
stacks during that turn only. Place on or after turn three for an additional 2,000 to own attack and 500 to own defense. My god, you've got a lot of numbers in here. Jesus, calm down. Plus 30% damage dealt and minus 30% damage taken. Okay, okay. Here's how I'm going to do this so it actually looks a bit easier to take into account. It's actually the same passive, just changed a bit. And then we'll put that. So, for turns 1 and 2, you get those buffs, 1,000 and 350. For turn 3, you get 2,530% to damage dealt and minus 30% damage taken. 3,000. So, let's just calculate this on this version. So, that is 10k turn at the end of turn 2. 12k at the end of turn 3, 15k at the end of turn 4, 18 turn 5, on turn 6 place to drop defense 0, but attack increases to 50,000. Additionally, place to gain 10,000 attack when HP is 50% below repeatable. Okay, so he's a nuker for turn 6 basically. Play a super defensive deck and then turn six, drop this motherfucker down on the field and watch him blow everything up. That seems a bit busted, especially look at that, he's got twelve thousand five hundred health there. I know these are LRs. I've gotta I've gotta keep that in mind when I'm doing this, but Jesus. Attack increases to fifty K. I mean, any increases of a massive amount. I mean, he's already at fucking 18k by that point, at least. And bear in mind, I'm only taking into account the buffs he gets from this. That's without items and shit. Or allies, Jesus. And he's front middle, okay. So you're subtle. If he ults, he's gonna hit for like 70 odd k without any sort of assistance. That's bullshit. I don't know about that. LR or not, that seems a bit too busted. At least he is a front trigger square. If he was a back trigger square, he would literally be the most broken thing in any game ever. Like, if he was back right, he would literally just... There'd be nothing better. Like I say, I've got to remember these are LRs, but he still seems just a smidge too good. <laughs> Even before this turn six uh, nonsense, he's still pretty damn good at this point. Kind of makes a mockery of it. I mean, 500 at all stats there, and he's getting that boost? Like him, uh, but I think he's a bit overpowered. Jiren. We need a new Jiren. Bloody hell, Jiren's got... <laughs> Look at all this shit that Broly got for his posing skill. Jiren gets one line in a bit. Right, it's full power pose, cool. Okay, power rush, fully charged power impact. He's only got one set of stats. Okay. Dogged Pursuit of Justice. Place on the trigger code for 25% to ultimate attack gauge when alone, 1.2 to all stats. And restore 15% HP at end of turn. Um, Underwhelming? Much? Uh... <laughs> I'm I'm wondering if you've left something out of that one. Like, look at this motherfucker. Look at him. And look at this. You've basically... Well, you've not even really buffed up his current version. I suppose... No, you have buffed up his stats to LR status. I'll give you that on this, but... This all seems kind of underwhelming. Especially, I mean, when you think of the huge numbers that th these LRs are hitting, 15% HP is really not that much. Now, I think he, he needs some work. He also needs a second set of stats. Unless they're hiding somewhere else. No. It's just a bit jarring watching somebody who has all this shit going on to this, so... <laughs> I think he's a bit underwhelming. Omega Shenron, pose, standing with shadows cast down, his beautiful scaly face, arms faltered. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> his beautiful scaly face. The fuck? <laughs> Whirlwood Blade minus and why has he only got one set of stats as well? Pervasive Corruption is his posing skill. Another one who's got loads. Place on the true squared, drain 200 defense from all allies on the field and drain 500 speed from all allies off the field. When own HP is below 50%, increase attack and defense. Oh, increase own attack by defense and reduce zero to defense to zero. When using an ultimate attack, deactivate all trigger squares on the field except for that own and restore all HP by absorbing it from allies based on damage taken. Place on turn 5 to drain all attack, defense, and speed from all allies on the field. Top left, top middle, back right. A lot of health. Not a lot else. Increase own attack by defense. That's... Um... I don't know about this. When it says drain 200 defense from all allies on the field and 500 speeds from allies, I'm assuming that he's absorbing it himself, so he is getting 400 to his defense each turn and 1,000 to his speed. Which means on turn 5, he's really good. When does Broly's... Uh, it's on turn 6. Then again, you stack them together. I mean, if you put Broly down and he gets that insane boost, that could be pretty nuts, but... um, Not impressed. I mean, I like, I like this as well. Deactivate all trigger squares on the field except for own. That's really good when using an ultimate attack. And restore all HP by absorbing it from allies based on damage taken. That's really good as well for something that's got such a huge HP stat. So yeah, I like him, but I don't. He's in he's in that middle ground, I think. So I think he's cool, but at the same time, no, I'm not too sure. I think a big problem as well is when you put like uh, turn five is very hard to get to at this point, unless you're against the defense deck. It's very hard to get to uh, turn 5. Maybe with these LRs it would be different. And like I say, if you had more Aster HP, and if this was an optimized version of the game, then yes, definitely would be easy to get to turn 5, I think. But in the current state, not so much. I wish, I wish they'd make an app game for the Hero Coliseum. I think it would sell well. And I wish they'd contact people like me and Tempest so that we could work on it and actually make it as good as it could be. There's a potential there. There really is. But he's in the middle. He's in the middle. I like him. I like him in ways, but I also don't. He's a he, he's on the fence. So we'll go with that. All right, Hercule. Pose handing out a present. Okay, yeah, cool. That's present for you, and the savior has come. Champion's touch. That's that's kind of a creepy uh, posing skill name. Uh, <laughs> I'd consider renaming it. Place on the trigger square for 500 speed to all allies and reduce all stats of attacked opponents to 1 until the end of the next turn, which is repeatable. When attacking, 50-50 chance of either restoring one random's ally by 70% or damaging the opponent and one random ally for 70% of their max HP. Additionally, 500 to own speed. Meh. I get the reference to... Um, Sort of the present. I do get the, the reference to that. I think that's quite a clever reference. But I don't think he's... That great. Front, middle, front, left. Good speed. I don't know. I'm not... I'm not overly impressed. By the way, why has he even got an attack stat? Or is this on top? So, like, does he hit somebody for his 3,200 attack and then this kicks in? For that. I don't like RNG. That's the problem. I don't like RNG. You know this, Tempest. 
You know this. You've put RNG into something, and you know I don't like it. So, no, I hate him. I hate this figure. It has RNG. It's evil. It's bad as Toa. RNG is bad. I would get damaged my ally. I would kill my best figure every turn, and he would lose something that didn't even fucking matter. That is my luck. I hate RNG figures. No. Villainous Yamcha. Spirit Ball, hand position. Okay, yeah. I get that one. Uh, Neo Wolfang Fist, Spirit Ball. Ex exponential Strength. Place on the Drinking Squid, 500 total stats, and 500 to attack and speed when attacked, and all attacks all opponent in a column. Place on turn 3 for 1.2 times to all stats and attacks all opponents off the field. If no op opponents are off the field, attack opponent's master. Back right. I like him. I like him a lot. Especially, I mean, to have an attack and speed buff when attacked and have that sort of uh, HP stats pretty good as well. And the speed version's good as well. 1.2 to all stats on turn 3 as well. Attacks opponents all, all opponents off the field. I like that. I like this Yamcha. I think that might be my favourite one so far, actually. He's simple, it's to the point, but it's good. I like him. I like I like this Yamcha. I like that Yamcha. I think that's the uh, the best the best one so far out of these LRs. In terms of what I like. Then he's evil. Uh <laughs> Right, Cyberman. Lying on the ground after self destruct. Pose. Super attack is acid, self destruct. Place on the trigger square for three hundred and fifty to all stats and two hundred and fifty to speed to all allies on the field, repeatable. Not bad. When attacking, causes the opponent to take 30% of their max HP and damage at the end of every turn. Survive with 1 HP when otherwise would be defeated once only. Hmm. Good speed. Very good speed. The pr Yeah, the problem with this is that you really can't run it. Or you have to make sure that it's the th it has to die early. Because with having zero attack and having an arbitrary 30% damage dealing, this thing can't kill things late game. And that's a problem if it's your last figure left. Um, maybe it's better oh, 30% or... 2,000 damage, whichever is higher, I think, would be a better way to do it. Just because, like I say, if by chance you don't, nothing else lives, you can't win. Because even if they go down to 1 HP, 30% of 1 HP is still going to be 0, so you can't kill. I'd say 30% of the max HP or 2,000 damage, whichever is greater. Because then at least it can still kill things. Apart from that, I like it. I like the reference. Uh, I think it's kind of cool having a figure with no attack. I do think that's an interesting uh, little feature. It's good speed on this one. I like it. Warrior of Verdure. I think you're giving the Cybermen a bit too much credit with that posing skill, though. Uh, <laughs> how long have we been going in this, actually, now that I think about it? 23 minutes, and I've still got all of that to get through. Jesus. I think you know what I'll go over Janemba because Janemba is one of my favorite characters, and then I'll uh, I'll call it for this time, and then we'll uh, try and finish it next time. Because when I mean, how many we've we gone through? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we went over all that for the LR figures. So if we go to uh, Janemba for eight, right? Dimension Hole pose, which is his ultimate as well. Super attack throw. I love that. <laughs> What's his super attack? He throws them. Uh, <laughs> Portal Pusher. I think that's kind of an underwhelming name. He, he, I, I just don't think that's really cool enough for Janemba. Anyway, place on a trigger square for fifteen percent ultimate attack gauge, a thirty percent chance. You did, you did it again. You did it again. You put RNG in one of these figures. Why did you do this? Why did you do this, Tempest? You know how I feel about RNG, and you've put it—you've put it on one of my favorite characters that's still not canon. 
How could you do this to me? A 30% chance of causing attacked opponent to attack one random figure on the field and swap stats with attacked opponent repeatable. 350 total stats at the end of turn and shorten opponent's turn time by 50% once only. That's weird as fuck. I mean, I kind of like that. I think it's kind of interesting. Although most people don't need to use much of their turn time regardless, but interesting. You put RNG in here. How could you do that to me? All right, great HP. Massive defense on that one. These th their stats are pretty solid. Their stats are pretty solid. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about a swap stats thing either. It's just not controllable. And I don't like that. Again, it's not RNG exactly, but it's not something you can have a great deal of control over. So I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this po of this posing skill, especially because you put RNG in here. How could you do this to? What did you think? Did you honestly think I was going to see a car, a figure with RNG involved in it? And think, yeah, I love that. You know how I feel about it. Everybody does. You've seen my videos. You've seen my RNG. And to be fair, if I did hit the 30%, it would hit my figure that I want to live. It would hit my UI Goku that I'd actually pr protected with my Vados or something. And he'd kill it. Because you said one random figure on the field. Now, if it was one random enemy figure or something, then maybe, but... <laughs> I know what would happen. I really do. It re it really would just screw me over. So, no, I don't like that. <laughs> right, I'm going to call it there because it's about 25 minutes now. So, uh, we'll pick up the rest of them next time, hopefully. Uh, I didn't honestly think it would take me this long to uh, get through this list. But he sent me a lot more than he did in the original video I did. I did one a while back, which was about 43 minutes. But this has got so much more to it. So, uh, anyway... Thank you for watching. I hope you've had an awesome day and I'll see you all next time.